Police say current laws mean they're obliged to investigate anyone who assists in a suicide, regardless of motive. The statement coming as major crime detectives questioned Right to Die campaigner Philip Nitschke and raided his home after the death of a terminally ill man on Monday. Carrying a computer, documents and other evidence, detectives emerge from Philip Nitschke's Gilberton cottage. The two-hour police raid carried out in front of the doctor. Can you have a chat to us about what's just been going on in there? Earlier, he'd met with his lawyer, Michael Woods, before being accompanied by him on the walk from his office through the doors of Adelaide Police Station in Wakefield Street. Inside, he was questioned for almost an hour over the death of terminally ill Adelaide man Max Bromson on Monday. Mr Bromson took his own life using a drug imported with the help of Dr Nitschke's organisation, Exit International. Dr Nitschke walked from the police interview without having been charged, but clearly concerned. I'm taking advice uh, and my advice is to make no comment and I'm going to stick to my advice. Police will now investigate the items seized from Dr Nitschke and almost certainly work with prosecutors to determine whether he should be charged with assisting Mr Bromson's death. His lawyer unable to confirm when the controversial euthanasia campaigner will have to meet major crime detectives again. At this stage we will just wait and see what unfolds and take it from there. Samantha Vardis, Nine News.